Good morning, dear faithful. We thank God once again for bringing us together here in our sanctuary to offer these morning prayers that help us prepare and transition from our daily lives into the kingdom of heaven and the divine liturgy which is at hand. We thank all of those who are here present, those who continue to pray and light their candles from afar. I see that Steve and Gerard are here to light those candles. May our dear Lord continue to bring us together at this time and forevermore in prayer. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, our hope. Glory to you, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of truth, who are present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art Amen. in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, bless your inheritance, grant us victory of the able, and by your cross, protect your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We lift on the cross voluntarily of Christ our God, bestow your tender compassion to one new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, grant them the victories against their adversaries, and for an ally. Lord, may they have you. Peace is their armor, the trophy of missile, both now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. Awesome and shameful protection of good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise their petitions. Make friend of the community of the Orthodox, save those whom you call the rule, grant them victory from heaven. We give birth to God, not truly blessed. For you are merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the high on the earth, and peace, goodwill toward men. You, O Lord, shall let my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, how greatly multiplied are those who afflict me. Many have risen up against me. Many say to my soul, there is no salvation for him in this God. But you, O Lord, I may protect of my glory and the one lifting up my head. I have cried out to the Lord with my voice, and he has answered me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake and I rise, because the Lord is helping me. I will not be afraid of the myriad of people who are together attacking me from all sides. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck down all those opposing me in vain. You have shattered the teeth of sinners. Salvation is from the Lord, and may your blessing, O God, be upon your people. I lie down and sleep. I wake and I rise, for the Lord is helping me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have pierced me, and your hand has come down upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. <clears throat> For my many transgressions have risen above my head as a heavy burden they weigh upon me. My soul, my words have become foul and festering because of my imprudent folly. I am suffering and utterly dejected. I go about all day long in misery. 
for my loins are filled with agonizing pain and there is no healing in my flesh. <coughs> I am afflicted and greatly humbled and groaning with deep sighs of pain from my heart. O oh Lord, my every desire is before you and my groaning is not hidden from me. My heart is troubled and my strength has left me and even the light of my eyes, that too, is no longer with me. My friends and neighbors have come and near to stand against me and my close relatives stand afar off. And those seeking my soul were violent and those seeking to harm me spoke vain things, plotting deceitful things all day long. But I, as a deaf man, did not listen, and I stood there as a mute who does not open his mouth. And so I became like a man who does not hear and who does not have any retort in his mouth. For upon you, O Lord, I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, you are the one to hear me. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. Let them not be boastful over me when my foot slips. For I am well prepared and ready to be scourged, and my pain is always with me. I acknowledge and declare my iniquity. I will sorrowfully compensate for my sin. But my enemies live and have become stronger than I, and those who hate me without cause have multiplied. Now those who rendered me evil instead of good have slandered me because I have pursued justice. Do not forsake me then, O Lord. O my God, do not depart from me. Come directly to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Do not forsake me then, O Lord, my God. Do not depart from me. Come directly to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, to you I rise early at dawn. My soul thirsts for you. And in many ways my body yearns for you, as if in a desert land, impassable and parched. With such strong desire I appear before you in the holy temple, to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is far better than any earthly gift of life, and my lips readily praise and glorify you. Thus I will continue to bless you throughout my life and to raise my hands for a prayer in your name. My soul will thus be satisfied, as with the choice of food of marrow and fat, and with joyful lips my mouth will praise you, as often as I remember you upon my bed and reflect upon you in the morning prayers, I realize that you have become my helper. So in the shelter of your wings, I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand has upheld me. But they who in vain have sought my soul will enter the lowest parts of the earth. They will be surrendered to those with the sword in their hand and become, become the prey of jackals. The king, however, will now rejoice in the Lord God, and everyone who vows allegiance to him will be praised, while the mouth of those speaking unjustly will now surely be shut. As often as I remember you upon my bed and reflect you in the morning prayers, I realize that you have become my helper. So in the shelter of your wings, I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with troubles, and my life has touched Hades. I am accounted as one, one among those going down into the pit, having become as a man who is helpless, free only by, among the dead. I resemble wounded men, cast aside, asleep in a grave, whom you remember no more, and you are thrust aside by your hand. You have placed me in the deepest pit and in dark places in the shadow of death. The blows of your anger have fallen upon me, and all of your successive ways you have directed upon me. You have distanced my acquaintances from me and have made me abhorrent to them. I am abandoned in isolation and am able to escape. My eyesight has grown weak in my misery, but I have cried to you, O Lord, all day long. To you I have lifted up my hands. Will, will you work wonders for the dead, or will physicians rise up as shadows to acknowledge you? Surely no one in the grave will relate your mercy and your truth in the place of perdition. Will your wonders be made known in the place of darkness, and your justice in the land of oblivion? And so I have cried to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer will come to you. Why, O Lord, do you push away my soul and turn your face from me? I am poor in the tribulations from my youth. While briefly raised, I was humbled and perplexed. Your wrath has swept over me. Your threats have utterly alarmed me. They have immersed me in, as if in water all day long and have totally encompassed me. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintance because of my long struggles with illness. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer come before you and incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and let all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefactions. Back up a little bit. 
He pardons all your iniquities and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from corruption and crowns you with mercy and compassion. He satisfies your needs with good things and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and justice to all who are wronged. He has made his way known to Moses, his will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always be angry, nor will he be wrathful forever. For he does not deal with us according to our sins, nor does he reward us according to our iniquities. For as the height of the heaven is far from the earth, so greatly has the Lord extended his mercy to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our sins from us. As a father is compassionate to his sons, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows well how we were formed, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He will flourish, but as a flower of the field. For the wind will pass through it, and it will soon disappear, and no one will recognize its place any longer. But the mercy of the Lord remains forever and ever upon those who fear him, and his righteousness remains upon the sons of sons, who keep his covenant, and who remember his commandments and observe them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his heavenly powers, his ministers who carry out his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Accept my supplication in truthfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter judgment with your servant, for no living person can be justified before you. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, has held my life to the ground, and made me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit within me became despondent, while my heart was deeply troubled. I remember the days of old, and pondered on all your works, reflecting on the creation of your hands. Lift my soul to you, my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Quickly answer me, O Lord, my spirit is expiring. Do not turn your face away from me, at least I'll be like those who have gone down into the pit. Let me hear your mercy in the morning, for I place my hope in you. Make known to me, O Lord, the way I must follow. For to you have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for in you have I taken refuge. Teach me your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in a straight and upright path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, grant me life. In your righteousness, bring my soul out of affliction, and in your mercy, utterly destroy my enemies. And bring to nothing all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, do not enter the judgment of your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, and do not enter the judgment of your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight and upright path. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Son of the Nidinis, Katie Sotidias, Tom Sihoni, Monte Kidio, the Ethoman, Ipartis Serinis to Simbaros, Cosmo, Estathias, Tonayo, to Theo Ecclesion, Kitis Tom Pondon and Oseos, to Kidio, the Ethoman, to to kitumata piste o se vlavi aske fovatio isi onde nafto to kidio da ithoman ileiso ipaton evsavon kertodoxon christianon to kidio da ithoman ileiso ipatrai episcopo e mon alexio to timio presbiterio ti san cristo de aconias Pandos to to kliru kitulau to kiriu da ithoma. For our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, this parish and city, for every city and land, and the faithful who live in them. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, and captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name. God is the Lord and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Ανά τα έθνη εκκλωσάν με και το όνομα τη Κυρίου ημινάμις αυτούς. Θεός Κύριος και επεφανέν ημί, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. And this came about from the Lord and is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Τον συνάναρχον λόγον πατρί και πνεύματι, τον εκπαρθένου τεχθέντα η σωτηρία ανημών, ανυμνήσωμεν πιστή και προσκυνήσωμεν, ότι η βδόκη σε σαρκή ανελθήν εν το σταυρό και θάνατον υπομείνε και γύρες του στεθνεούτας εν τη ενδόξω αναστάση αυτού. The eternal with the Father and the Spirit is the Word who of a virgin was begotten for our salvation as the faithful we both praise and worship Him for for in the flesh did he consent to ascend the cross, and death did he endure. And he raised unto the life of dead through all his glorious resurrection. Both now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. El gate of the Lord through which no man has passed, wall and shelter of all who rely on you rejoice. Port and haven undisturbed by any tempest rejoice. You gave birth to your creator and God in the flesh ever remaining a virgin never cease interceding for us to worship and exalt your son in peace let us pray to the Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another 
and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into <coughs> the ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor the cross of the Lord with solemn praise. Let us sing hymns extolling his holy burial. Let us highly glorify his resurrection from the dead. For being God, he raised the dead from the graves with himself. He shined light on those in Hades, annihilating the power of death and the devil's might. <laughs> Both now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. Holy mountain like that on which God once walked rejoice, metaphorical bush that was not consumed rejoice only bridge connecting the world to god and conveying mortal humans to everlasting life rejoice in immaculate the lady the Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the ever Holy remaining a virgin you gave birth to him who Lord, saves our souls descent, defense, we sinners offer this prayer to his master have mercy on us Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the host of the angels saw how you were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. 
you, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades liberated everyone. Ο αστράπτων έντο τάφο άγγελος προς εφέγγετο της μυροφόρης είδετε εμείς τον τάφο και είστητε ο σωτήγαρ εξανέστη του μνήματος. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning the myrrh-bearing women were hastening to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentations has ended, weep no more. Go and announce his resurrection to the apostles. When the mirror-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God, he is risen from the sepulchre. <laughs> Προσκυνούμεν Πατέρα και τον τούτο Ιόντε και το Άγιον Πνεύμα την Αγίαν Τριάδα εν μια τη ουσία συν τη Σεραφήμ κράζοντες το Άγιος, Άγιος, Agios Ikiria, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, you delivered Adam from sin. And to if you have rendered joy and sorrow, he you became incarnate, God and man has erected life who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 most of the Theos. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, glory to you, God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Who you, O Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Mentally amazed by the angelic apparition, inwardly illumined by the divine resurrection, the myrrh-bearing women brought good tidings to the apostles. Proclaim the resurrection of the Lord among the Gentiles, as he works with you by signs and miracles, and he grants us to us the great mercy. <laughs> And those livers them at the Viticos, Alonsi Sotirmo, Risemutim Sikin, Eclosis Dolias. Blessed is the life of those who dwell in the desert as they mount up with wings of the intense love of God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and to ages of ages, amen. By the Holy Spirit are all things maintained, both seen and unseen. 
for he is inseparably one of the Trinity with full authority. O oh, my soul, let us be lifted to the mountains. Come to the one who from help comes. O oh, Christ, let your soaring right hand keep me from every kind of mischief. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit we say theologizing. You are God, life and intense love, light and mind. You are goodness and you reign forever. Epitisiricosis me, stas of lustros vomen kiriu, aras polis pristis efkas anapembo. Epi con David, ta fovera telesi urgite, pirga eki flegon apanta eskronun, doxa patri ke io ke agio pneumati. Epi ke agi. Αγίο πνεύμα τη ζωή, η αξία εξουπαντζών εμψυχούτε. Ω εμπατρία, μάτε και λόγο. Arise, O Lord my God, for you reign unto the ages. Αναστητή κυρία, ο Θεό μου. Ότι σε βασιλεύεις εις τους αιώνας. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Arise, O Lord, my God, for you reign unto the ages. Ετι και την ειρήνη του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Αντιλαμβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξεν ημάς ο Θεός της ειχάρητης. Η Παναγία Σαχράντου υπερευραγημένης εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και η Παθενού Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημών έρσαντε σε αυτούς και οι αλλήλους και πάσε την ζωήν ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Σιγάρι ο βασιλεύς της ειρήνης και σωτηρημών και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπωμεν το Πατρί και του Υιό και του Αγίου Πνεύμα την ειν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. O my Savior, you descended into the netherworld, and you shattered its gates. For you are Almighty God, O Creator. With yourself you raised the dead of all time, and you utterly destroyed the sting of death, O Christ. O benevolent Master, you freed Adam from the ancient curse. Therefore we cry to you, save us, O Lord. Therefore we all cry to you, save us, O Lord. When the women heard the angels' words, they put away their grief, and they rejoiced with trembling as they saw the resurrection. And behold, Christ came to them and said, Rejoice, take courage. I have overcome the world and have rescued the prisoners. Go quickly now to the disciples and tell them that I am going to be before them to proclaim it in the region of Galilee. Therefore we cry to you, Save us, O Lord. Therefore we all cry to you, Save us, O Lord. Let the Pharisees' exalted parlance. Let us learn the publican's humble demeanor with sighs. Unto the Savior cry out and say, To us be gracious, O only forgiving Lord. O only forgiving Lord. Sinners, let us fall before the Lord and Master in prayer. And as once the publican let us present him our sighing, he desires that all humanity gain salvation, and to all who are repentant he grants forgiveness. He became a man for our sake, though with the Father without beginning as God. Brethren, let us all garb ourselves in lowliness, and with laments and sighs strike at our conscience, that at the judgment then, when is in per perpetuity, we shall be viewed guiltless, attaining our impu impunity. For there we have gained true mitigation to see it. Let us make supplication, for there is pain and sorrows and seeding, gone the deep sighs, there in wondrous Eden, of which Christ was the fashioner. 
be being with the Father without beginning as God. On February 25th, we commemorate our Father among the saints, Tarasios the Confessor, Archbishop of Constantinople. On this day, St. Alexander died by the sword. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Hierom Martyr Reginus, Bishop of Sopolis. On this day, St. Anthony died by fire. On this day, St. Theodore, fool for Christ, reposed in peace. On this day, the Holy Hierom Martyr Marcellius of Cyprus, Bishop of Ampia in Syria, died by the sword. On this day, we remember the parable of the publican and the Pharisee from the, gospel of the, from the Holy Gospel of the Evangelist Luke. By the intercessions of your saints who have done great things, O Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. 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 Εν αβίσω ίχνεσι τον διόκτην φαραώ, καθορών ποντούμενον Θεό, επινίκιον οδυν ευώσομεν. No one is holy like the Lord, no one righteous like our God. Being good, you exalted your believers' horn of strength firmly establishing us on the rock of confessions of faith in you. Christos mu dynamis Theos ke Kyrios is septi ecclesia Theo prepos me elpi anakrasusa ek dianias katharas en Kyrio eortazusa with your divine light illumine the souls who with yearning early in the morning rise to you, O good Lord, I pray so that you may know the word of God as truly God who calls him back from darkness and from night of sin. I see you in Thalassan. Υψουμένοι καθορών τον πειρασμό το κλειδονί εν ευδί ο λιμένος σου προσταμών βοσίσι ανάγαγε εκτορά στη ζωή μου πολυέλε. In the forest, the Lord's angel saved the pious men, blowing through it in dew laden breeze, while the Chaldean men were completely burned at God's command, persuading the tyrant to confess and cry aloud, O God of our fathers, blessed are you. Και προσκυνούμεν τον Κύριο, εκφλογός της οσίης τρούσον επίγασας και δικαίου θυσίων είδα τι έφλεξας απάντα γαρδράς Χριστέ μόνο το βούλεστε σε υπερυψούμεν is pandas to say let us pray to the lord lord have mercy to you are merciful god who loves mankind and to you we give glory to the father and the son and the holy spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages Let everything that prays the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord our God found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. At that 
that time, Peter rose and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen cloths by themselves, and he went home wondering at what had happened. That very day, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about these things that had happened. While they were walking and talking together, discussing, Jesus himself drew near and went with him. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What is this conversation which you are holding with each other as you walk? And they stood still looking sad. Then one of them named Cleopas answered him, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was the prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, besides all this, it is now the third day since this happened. Moreover, some of the women of the company were amazed. They were at the tomb early in the morning and they did not find his body. And they came back saying that they even had seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and just it, it was as the women said, but they, him they did not see. And he said to them, O oh, foolish men and slow of heart to believe all the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And the beginning with Moses and all of the prophets, he interpreted them all the scriptures and the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village to which they were going. He appeared to be going further, but they constrained him saying, stay with us for it is toward evening and now the day is far spent. So he went into the, to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he break, broke bread, blessed it and gave it to them. And their eyes were open for they recognized him and he vanished out of their sight. They said to each other, did our hearts not burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures. And they rose at the same hour and returned to Jerusalem. And they found the eleven gathered there, and those who were with him who said, The Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he was known to them in the breaking of the bride. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name, come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Ne pavupani, have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to your abundance of fear and compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You show me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall make me a joy and gladness. My bones that will come shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Pray to me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn their back to you. Mm. 
την δικαιοσύνη σου, Κύριε τα χείλη μου ανοίξεις και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ένεσή σου, ότι θέλεις ασθησίαν, εδώ καν, ολοκαυκτώματα ουκ ευδοκίσεις. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken humble heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you'll be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with righteousness and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Accordingly, 
to your great mercy. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Visit your world in mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the prayers of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, through the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, of Peter and Paul the Twelve and the Seventy Holy, glorious and all-ordered apostles, and of Herman the Apostle, Apostle to America, of our fathers among the saints, the great and ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, the Patriarchs of Alexandria, <laughs> Nicholas of Mida, Spiridon of Trimithus, Nectarius of Pontopolis, and John of San Francisco, the Wonder Workers of our fathers among the saints, Innocent and Tikhon, the Enlighteners of America, Raphael of Brooklyn, Mata Regia of Chicago, and of St. Luke, the Surgeon of Simropole, of the Holy Proto-Martyr and Archdeacon Stephen, and the Holy Glorious, Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Mer Streaming, Theodore the Recruit, Theodore the General, and Minas the Wonder Worker, of Eleftherios, Haralombos, Cosmas et Alos, John Alexander and Juvenali, the Holy Priest Martyrs, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina Paraskevi, and Irene, of Peter the Aleut and Proto Martyr of North America, and of the Holy, Glorious, and Victorious 179 Martyrs of the Dao Pandelis Monastery, of Kiriakos and of the Unmercenary and Healer Pandeleimon, of the Priest Confessor, as Alexis of Pennsylvania, Jacob of Alaska and Sebastian of San Francisco, and of our venerable and God-bearing fathers and all of the holy ascetics, of the evangelist and apostle Mark, the patron saint of this holy church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the saints we remember today, the Tarasios, the Confessor, Archbishop of Constantinople, the Martyr Saint Alexander, the Holy Higher Martyr Reginus, and on this day Saint Anthony, the Holy Martyr, and of Saint Theodore the Fool for Christ, and the Holy Higher Martyr Marcellus of Cyprus, and on this day we remember the parable of the public and the Pharisee, and of all your saints, we beseech you, the only all-merciful Lord, hear the prayer of us sinners and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Yara bula, yara bula, yara bula. Through the mercy, compassion, and love of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Magnify the Theotokos, the mother of life. Την αδεία φόρο θεολόγων δεκούσαν, την όντω θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνουμε. Ο 
for he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He is mighty, is done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Επίσε κρότο σε βραχιόνι αυτού, διεσκόπησε εν υπερηφάνου διανύα καρδία αυτών. Η τιμή ο τέραν των χερουβείμ, τέραν των ξατέραν, ασυγκλήτως των σεραπείμ. Είναι αδιαφόρος θεών λόγων τεκούσα, την όντας θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνομαι. He has put down the mighty from the thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. It is impossible for God to be seen by people, and angelic orders dare not look at him. But the word incarnate <coughs> has been seen by humankind through you, O all pure virgin, now magnifying him, joining the celestial host, all generations call you blessed. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come, better, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious leader, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To our good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Ας απνοή ένεσα το τον Κύριον, εν είτε τον Κύριον εκ των ουρανών, εν είτε αυτόν εν της ύψης της, σι πρέπει ύμνος το Θεό. Σαν αυτή κρίμα έγραπτον, δόξα αυτή έστε πάση τη σωσή αυτού. Κύριε, εσφραγισμένου του τάφου υπό των παρανόμων, 
προήλθες εκ του μνήματος, καθώς ετέχθης εκ της Θεοτόκου, ου και γνωσαν πως εστα... εσαρκώθης η ασώματη σου άγγελοι, ου κείσθον το πότε ανέστης, οι φυλάσσοντες στρατιώτε, αμφότερα γάρες φράγιστε της ερευνώσει, πεφανέρωτε δε τα θαύματα της προσκυνούσιν εν πίστη το μυστήριον, ο ανυμνούσιν απόδοση μην αγαλίασιν και το μέγα έλεο. The Pharisee who justified himself by boasting about his work. O Lord, you condemn, but you justified the publican who was modest and with sighs prayed for the expiation for you do not accept boastful thoughts but hearts that are con that hearts that are contrite you do not despise therefore we too in humility fall down be for you, who suffered and who suffered for us, grant us absolution, absolution, and great mercy. But now and ever, unto the ages of ages, amen. Eternal Son, Holy Mortal, O Holy Spirit. Glory to you, O Giver of life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth is good will among all people. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you. Jesus 
Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless you. I will praise your name forever, to the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified forever. Amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Lord, for we place our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord. From one generation to all. the next, I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord, teach me to please you, for you are my God, for in you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Pour forth your mercy on those who know you, holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us, holy God. on us, O oh, holy God, O oh, holy mighty, O oh, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, holy Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Ανωθεν ειρήνη και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσό, υπέρ τη ειρήνη του σύμπαντο κόσμου, ευσταθία των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και τη των πάντων ενώσεω του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσό, This holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For 
pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For our Archbishop Alexius, for the honorable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy archdiocese, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, <clears throat> let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, Lord the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, and love for let us, us and commend and ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget all that not as benefits. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come in our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise Him as long as I have breath. So, 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 from the dead, save us who sing to you, hallelujah. Lord reigns for the ages of ages, your God of Zion, from one generation to the next. So, 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 so,
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorate most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and her whole life unto Christ our God. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Eternal with the power and the Spirit is the Word, who all the virgins must be gotten for salvation. As the faithful we both praise and worship Him, for in the flesh should He consent to ascend unto the cross which that did he endure and be raised unto the light of death through his all glorious resurrection. Sophia Orphia Come let us worship and bow down before Christ our Lord. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, hallelujah. Let us learn the public 
Holy our God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. And the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. God, you dwell among your saints, and you are the Christ, holy God, you are the Holy Ghost, you worship by all the heavenly powers, and all things that are lovely to being, you create a man of the Lord, you are 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 the Lord, you Voluntary transgression, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness. All the days of our lives, by the intercessions of the Holy Theos, and of all the saints, and pleases throughout the ages. For you are God, our holy, to you, give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, in the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, Lord, have mercy on us. keep us and preserve us. Save me, O Lord, for the godly man has failed. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's second letter to Timothy. Let us be attentive. Timothy, my son, you have observed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions, my sufferings, what befell me at Antioch, at Iconian, and at Lystra, what persecutions I endured. Yet from them all the Lord rescued me. Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted, while evil men and impostors will go on from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, are God, the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory. With your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you. The Lord said this parable. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, 
God, I thank Thee that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. He spews you, proclaims the gospel, and all of you. Again, we bow before you, our loving God, and ask that you hear our prayer. Cleanse our souls and bodies from all defilement of flesh and spirit and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us so that they only worship you with reverence and love. Partake of your holy mystery that blame or condemnation become worthy of your heavenly kingdom and grant that always guarded by your power we may give glory to you. And grant that with one voice and guarded by your power, we may give you glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. I mean, let us pray to the Lord.
May the Lord our God remember us all in his heavenly kingdom, both now and forever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Αντιλάβους όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χαρητή. Κύριε perfect, holy, peaceful and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. And this, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. And this, o Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord, that is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord, for the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Irini Pasi. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Christ is in our midst. We gather this morning to offer the beautiful divine liturgy in thanksgiving, the Holy Eucharist, that we can partake. We also gather this morning and welcome a new member into the Orthodox Christian faith. And I'd like to call up Michael with his fiance and his nonna to be, Efrosini, to please come forward and we'll offer the prayers. It's indeed a blessing to stand here in the midst of the temple with not only those who are in the process of becoming Orthodox, but also surrounded by Father Alexander, Father Jim, Father Peter, Father Andrew, as well as Father Alex and the deacon. So please come forth and stand here, and we will offer these beautiful prayers. Oh, blessed are you, O Christ our God, who by sending down the Holy Spirit upon them made the fishermen wise and through them illumined the world and through you the universe was ever drawn. All glory to you, O God. Today, by the grace of God and my own free will, having received proper instruction, changed by the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit from the former denomination, faith and accept the Orthodox faith and confess before God and man. And then together, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the God of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, the God not created, one of us is the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us and then, for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and gave to man, who was crucified for us under the eyes of Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. In the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. I further confess and accept the traditions of the Orthodox Church, through which I seek to be made worthy of becoming a faithful servant of the Lord by keeping his commandments and being pleasing to him in all things. This I ask through the grace and love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom is due all glory and power. Amen. And now he receives the tonsuring as a sign of his obedience to Christ and his church. The servant of God, Michael, is tonsured in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As he receives the Holy Chrism, we'll say the words, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit, and we all respond with amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord our God, you have made your servant Michael worthy to seek spiritual perfection through the Orthodox faith and to receive holy chrism. Lord of all, preserve him in his faith in you and grant him to grow in righteousness and adorn him fully with every grace. For you bless, sanctify all things, and you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then we give him his cross, which is given by his sweet and beautiful Nona Efrosini, whoever wishes to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. You're going to have to. Oh, blessed are you, O Christ our God, who by sending down the Holy Spirit upon them made the fishermen wise and through them illumined the world and through you the universe was ever drawn. All glory to you, O God. Axios. Thank you so much for everything. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of prayer. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit us let us lift up our hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord it is proper and It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship you in all place of your dominion. For you are God ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding. 
existing forever and always the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us in the being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things, we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all the things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels, by tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six wing, many eyed soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, holy and sublime is your glory. You have so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. On the night when he was delivered up or rather when he gave himself up for the, for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure and blameless hands. He gave thanks, he blessed, he sanctified, he broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior, all the king of the past, for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension in the heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming again. <laughs> we offer to you these gifts from your own gifts, in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts you're presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both Changing holy Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Παναγία αχράντου υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δεσπίνη Σιμών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρία.
great is the name of the Trinity. Above all, Lord. remember, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who live in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy church, and who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. We pray, O oh Lord, for those enduring religious persecution in the world. We pray, O oh Lord, for peace in the world, in the peace in the Ukraine, peace in the Middle East for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors. And be with your servants, Panayota, Argyro, Sophia, Laddie, Alexandra, Marlene, Mary Jane, Pete, Dimitri, Peter, Melanie, Talia, Elaine, Alexandra, Gloria, Stavros, George, Nicholas, Mary Ellen, Barbara, Chris, Beth, Spiridon, Samantha, Michael, Margarita, Kathy, Irene, Zachary, Vitali, Evgenia, Olivios, and Constantinos. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Good morning, dear faithful. Truly a blessing to gather once again. And this morning we would like to offer that if anyone is interested, we've had four weeks of the Discover Orthodoxy class, which were presentations and lectures followed by question and answer. Truly a blessing. I can tell you of the four years that I've participated in this class, this by far exceeded the number of people who attended participated and came with their hearts to learn. Each week, we had over 40 people present. 40 people present, including the newly illumined today. All of the people there present came to learn about the things of the Orthodox Church. And it's a blessing because we finished the class today after dismissal in the sanctuary, we will do a church presentation, a liturgical presentation where we try to bring some of the gifts closer to you so that you can bear witness to that. And it's not something that is only mystical behind the altar, but rather stuff that we can continue to enrich our faith with. This morning, during what we believe, we would like to offer about the Triodion period. The Triodion period is a fancy word for the beginning of the period that prepares us for Great Lent. This book right here is a Triodion. And in this book, there are the schedule and the services for all services starting today all the way through until Pascha. So this book right here has great weight in its meaning and importance. And it's a blessing because the church in her wisdom helps us, does not say, okay, here is the first day of Great Lent, good luck. It helps us by giving us a regiment beforehand, starting to remember the disciplines and virtues of the church, and then also fasting incrementally to get to the great fast. Today, this beautiful Triodion period, the pre-Lenten period starts with the publican and the Pharisee, the great parable that is told to us in the gospel. And this is a beautiful thing to get us started with the Triodion, with the approach to Great Lent, because it reminds us that we are not called to be boastful or outwardly pious, but rather that our love for God should be an outpouring from inwards, 
So therefore, when we love God, when we come to him with our hearts in prayer, it is not about how tall we stand or how loud we pray. It is about the fervence of our prayer and how authentic the words of our hearts come forth. So at this time, may our Lord continue to bless you and guide you. And as we say in Greek, kalo triodion, or it's simply a blessed triodion to you all. So a blessed start to this period before Great Lent. And let us all continue to gather in prayer. Amen. all the saints again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, have accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance. May return set down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. You, Lord. We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and your awesome mysteries, your precious body and blood from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy master with confidence and without fear of condemnation to dare to call you the heavenly God, our Father, and to say, Father, τον άρτην ημών των επιούσιων, δώσ' ημιν σήμερον και άφησ' ημιν το εφελή με τα ημών, ως και εμείς αφήμες οφελέτους ημών, και εμείς εν έγγυσης μας εσπηρεσμών, αραρίσε ημάς από του πονερού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. to the Lord. To you, o Lord. Master, look down from heaven upon those of us here who have bowed our heads before you. We have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit. According to the need of each of us, sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick physician of our souls and our bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for Lord us, Jesus of your only begotten Son, our Lord, and Savior, 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 our this I is the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken. You're not divided for every year. We're just going to sanctify the holy God. the holy God. Yeah. 
Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is among us. A dear friend of mine from seminary, my son's nono, Father Jim, tells the story of the time when he was a young man. He was invited to be part of a wedding party and had to be fitted for a tuxedo. As he stood before the tailor who was about to measure him, the young Jim told him his waist and collar sizes. The tailor listened politely and then quick, quietly took the measuring tape from around his neck and proceeded to take his measurements. Father Jim responded, is it what I told you? Then he turned with a barely perceptible smile on his face and very diplomatically, he said, Jim, you really need to update your measurements. In today's gospel lesson, two men went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, a highly respected and as an observer of God's law. The other was a publican, a tax collector, despised by his people as a thief and a traitor. The Pharisee measured himself, measured himself in comparison to others around him. He stood and prayed, thanking God he was not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like the tax collector. But the tax collector, standing way off, wouldn't even look up but kneeling and beating his breast, simply asked the beautiful and kind words, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Jesus concludes the parable by saying that the repentant tax collector went home justified, but the Pharisee did not. He said, everyone that exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. The church places this reading today, the first Sunday as we heard of the Triodion, the three-week period of preparation for Great Lent. During these three weeks of preparation, the basic principles of Christ's teachings are set before us. The lesson plan, as we would say, of the Triodion was designed by the church for those who are about to enter the final period of repentance before their baptism at Easter or Pascha. But of course, it is no less important for us today as a time for renewal, a time of reconversion, and a deeper commitment before we come to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. In today's parable, both the publican and the Pharisee were from the Hebrew tradition, but they represented two very different elements of society. The publican was a tax collector who was despised because he collaborated with the Romans to make his living. And as many tax collectors did, he probably collected a little bit extra for himself. The Pharisee, on the other hand, was a respected member of society, an upright observer of the law, standing before God, apparently in a prominent place in the temple for all to see. The Pharisee prayed with pride. He told God how virtuous and righteous he was. But in the very act of thanking God, he fell into the sin of self-righteousness. He offered himself for all others, for those around him to see. The publican, meanwhile, stood where he was hardly visible. He acknowledged his complete dependence on God, his sinfulness, and his need for God's mercy. No lesson could be more appropriate 
for us as we begin to prepare ourselves for this Lenten season, for this opportunity when we offer and we remember the events of Jesus' life that culminate in his crucifixion and resurrection. This parable makes it plain that the religion practiced by the Pharisees is not acceptable to God. We have only to recall the Lord's denunciation of the scribes and Pharisees, whom he calls hypocrites. We read the very harsh words of Jesus in Scripture. We read these on Holy Thursday. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cleanse the outside of the cup and of the plate, but inside they are full of extortion and rapacity. You blind Pharisee, first cleanse the inside of the cup and of the plate, that the outside also may be clean. For the religious person, there is no greater danger than falling in the sin of self-righteousness, seeking the praise of others by our outward actions and by talking constantly about the details of how we fast, how we pray, and how we help others. The gospel does not justify these things. In Matthew 6, 16, Jesus tells us, when you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by men. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. We learn the story of the publican and the Pharisee that if we really want to prepare ourselves for Lent, we need to update our sizes. We need to examine ourselves, not our external appearances, but by cleaning our cup on the inside through fasting, prayer, repentance, and confession, comparing ourselves not to others, but always comparing ourselves to ourselves and to Christ, who came to be our great example. How often do I hear people tell me, Father, we're a very traditional family. We do it the way it's supposed to be. My brothers and sisters, if you want to be traditional, if you want to do things the right way, then it is time for all of us to update our sizes. And there is no better time to do that than this Lenten season. Begin today and make a plan for this 40-day period. You have two and a half more weeks. Begin today to draw up a map to navigate you through the 40 days. I want to invite you all on a very great opportunity we have at St. Mark. I want to invite you to the 40-day Lenten challenge. It's celebrated all throughout the world. But at St. Mark, I want to do something a little different this year. I want you to spend 40 days plus a little extra for Holy Week, so really about 48 days preparing for the resurrection. And I want to give you an opportunity for you to update your sizes, to update yourselves, your spiritual discipline, your askesis, and to do so with love and with faith. This is how we're going to do it. We always do things a little different. First and foremost, you're going to have on your phone the Realm application because the only way this is going to take place is through Realm. So if you do not have the Realm app, I encourage you today, there'll be a table in the fellowship hall, sign up, become a steward, and go on that Realm app. That will help and guide you. We'll be giving you daily disciplines. You can sign up there for the St. Mark 40-day Lenten challenge. And what does that entail? First and foremost, that entails everyone who signs up will receive a little bracelet. And on the bracelet, it's a beautiful done by a dear presbyteta friend of mine on the west coast of Florida. Actually, it's St. Nicholas in Tarpon Springs. Everyone will receive a bracelet if they want to participate. And on it, it says the beautiful words, I see exe, Jesus Christos. Help us as a constant reminder. Secondly, if you sign up through Whelm, and it will start later in this week, this month, you'll receive a little prayer journal. This prayer journal is designed specifically for our St. Mark Church. St. Mark 40-day Lenten Challenge. From little, young to old, I want all of us to participate. What we'll do, you'll see in the prayer book, it says daily Lenten discipline. I'm challenging each of you during this 40-day period, plus seven or eight days, to do the following. To read 10 minutes 
or more of a spiritual book. Ten minutes or more of a spiritual book. And now since we're all talking about books, on our Wednesday night live book discussion, we're going to be reading 30 Steps to Heaven. And this is a beautiful work helping us understand the ladder of divine ascent. This book is truly amazing because it breaks down the great ladder of divine ascent into simple rungs that we can all follow. They're available in the bookstore. I'll be leading the book study on Wednesday night, 30 Steps to Heaven. So I encourage all of you during Lent, I'm holding up our prayer journal, to read 10 minutes of a spiritual book. This is a great book to read, by the way. Secondly, to fast more than the past. So therefore, if last year you fasted from meat, do something a little more. If last year you fasted from meat and dairy, do something a little more. Fast more than the past. Also, journal and reflect each day on a daily gratitude, and that's why you'll be given these little books for you to take. Spend at least five minutes in prayer each day, ending with the prayer of St. Ephraim, and that'll be on the back cover. Be intentional, this is important, with an act of kindness. Be intentional each day with an act of kindness to somebody else. And finally, attend Sunday liturgy and at least one extra Lenten service each week. So come on Sundays during Lent, plus also come on a Wednesday or a Friday or both. That would be wonderful, and I'd love to see you to come on Wednesday and Friday to get a little closer to God. By doing so, we are pushing ourselves just a little more. It all begins on Cathara Deftera, Clean Monday. We'll begin on that day. For the next two or three weeks, we're going to release it this week on Realm toward the end of the week, and you can sign up. Each of you who sign up, up to the first 300 people will receive the bracelet, and then also the prayer journal that we have. And this journal is meant to help you in your journey to God. I challenge each of you, make a plan. If you don't want to follow this, that's okay. But make a plan this Lenten season to draw closer to the Lord. It's so important. It gives up the opportunity to update our sizes, to prepare ourselves better this Lent, and to grow closer to God and more fully experience His resurrection. Let's do this. Let's do this together. Let's walk on the journey to get closer to God. And truly, I promise you, if you do these things, you will feel so close to Him as you journey toward His resurrection. And then on that evening, at the Anastasi, after the liturgy, which we are blessed at St. Mark, more and more people, five, six hundred people stay to the end. Whoever does this beautiful Lenten challenge will come up here and we'll take a picture together. All of us together, not glorifying ourselves, but glorifying Jesus Christ. Let's all work to walk closer to God this Lenten season. Let's do this together. In your name we ask and pray, amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of God, who came into the world to save sinners, whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. 
Με τα φόβου Θεού πίστεως και αγάπης προσέλθετε. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near. Yeah.
exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me, and from all my fears he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul faces may not blush with shame when the poor cry the Lord answers them and rescues them from all their distress. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who take refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory in the people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true Lord. We have received the Holy Spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity who has saved us. Always forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, cross, and mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries 
your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavor safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In your dini prayer for men, let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. And to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord from now into the ages. The one of my kiri, we have long in man, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God of mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of his most holy, pure mother, the mother of God, the Panagia, the Theotokos, the precious body and blood the holy bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiser of the apostles, the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and righteous answers of God, Joy Kimenana, of St. Tarasios, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all your saints, have mercy on us and save us, for oh, you are a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy on us and save us. Dief conto na yung patero ni mon kiriyus su Kriste o Theos eleison ke so sonimas. All the holy Trinity protect and keep all of you. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. You heard me mention Saint Tarasios as you leave church. In the back left-hand corner of the church is an icon of St. Tarasios. It's a rare icon, so it's beautiful to see. I want to send a very greeting, of course, and love to Father Andrew McGinnis and Presidente who are here worshiping with us this morning. Always a blessing to have a dear brother and clergy family in our midst along with the others. We also welcome Nick Palialogos and his family who are here today. Always a blessing. I'll take it. I love Nick. He was my camper when uh, many, many, many years ago. It's a blessing to have him here. Also, we welcome John and Sandy Stamoulis from Highland Beach. And just a reminder, as you go in the fellowship hall today, I, I say a reminder that you'll notice we always have our philoptikos each and every week that are working so hard. They don't just come here to just treat us all, although they treat us so well, but also every dollar that you put into that tray out there goes to a charity. So I'm asking you, where else can you go on a Sunday and get a cup of coffee, a little kuroraki and something for nothing? No, put a little donation in there so that this month it's all going to go to the American Heart Association. When we give to our philopticals, they give. And that's the blessing. So God bless you all. May you have a blessed day. Indeed, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it always. Amen.
rejoice, or I'm wedded bride.